Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Presley, and it's our Wednesday at 11 gathering, except it's Wednesday, and it's, let's see, it's about uh, 2.30, <laughs> but guess what, I'm going to switch my Wednesdays at 11 and make them Wednesdays at 11, and I'm just going to record it on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. And I'm just going to schedule it to post on Wednesdays. And then if you have any questions, you can comment on there. And I'll answer them. I think Wednesday is 11, at 11 is a good time to just have a boost on a hump day. But honestly, where I thought nothing happened on Wednesdays, it seems to be the hour that all sorts of events happen in my household. So, just going to switch it up. We're still going to have Wednesdays at 11. I'm just going to do it sooner. Anyway, hi. Okay, so I turned on a little bit of light because I forgot that part and um, wanted to talk to you today about sweet, tr sweet treats. Um, I'm really, really, really excited. I'm glad I waited because we're going to use our Little Faves baking set and that's, I think it's the Little Faves Little Chef baking set or something like that. I don't know the exact title, um, but I don't think you have to be a Little Chef if you like chocolate if you like baking quickly and you're just baking for a few or you just kind of want to make it fun and whatever I think this is the perfect set I think it's a great gift set um, so I wanted to let you know what comes in it so the little chef I think it's called the little chef's baking collection I will post it under this video it comes with a recipe card I printed it out and um, but you get the actual card in your set. It comes with two six cupcake pans. Um, uh, these are silicone and they are microwave and oven safe so you can use it either or. It comes with a three-in-one spatula. My new favorite thing. If you are a lefty this will make you unhappy um, but I want you to see it so it's it's like a spoon and it's the perfect thing for getting peanut butter and mayonnaise, all that stuff out of the jar, a small container, like if you have trying to get icing or something out of the prep cup. This is the thing you've always wanted. There was somebody that invented something similar on Shark Tank. I was so sad that they didn't back her because I was all ready to buy everything she had. Anyway, so the set also comes with Tutti Frutti, Cocoa Crunch, and Summer Berry. Now, the Tutti Frutti and the Cocoa Crunch are our whole food toppers. And um, they both have psyllium husk and um, this is strawberry, raspberry, turmeric. I believe two tablespoons is like a quarter of a fruit serving. Um, and the Cocoa Crunch, this is what I've been putting in my chocolate ice cap that I've told you guys about. Anyway, it comes with the Tutti Frutti and the Cocoa Crunch, which are really great um, toppers. And the Summer Berry, which y'all know is probably in my top three of the Epicure food one. Um, and it comes with two packages of the Chocolatey Temptation Cupcake Mix. So I'm gonna hold that up for you. If you see the sprinkles on there, on that icing, that is actually the Cocoa Crunch. Um, we are going to make these today. And the reason I'm excited that I waited is my son came home for, I should rephrase, my son is home for a visit. He now considers New York his home, so I'm trying to oblige him on that. Anyway, um, you will see that I also have out here my um, roll-up rack. I'm gonna use it to cool the cupcakes, but the reason I'm excited is you can make this without dairy. It is a gluten-free cupcake mix, um, but you can make it with a milk alternative and still comes out just fine so we are going to use flax milk which for our household I have found is I can do a one-to-one -one swap on pretty much everything um, I do not use almond milk because I also have a child who's allergic to peanuts and tree nuts and so that would be a bad choice anyway I'm gonna put this in my uh, what do you call that KitchenAid um, and we'll see what kind of magic we can have going on. There is, it says to whisk it, and you can whisk it in a large bowl if you want. 
on a nut today. Third cup of oil. Um, what I've started doing with these prep cups, if I need certain measurements of things, I started setting these out and then asking my younger kids to get everything set up. And you know how you have to teach kids how, when you teach people how to cook, um, you teach them, you make sure that you have everything before you, um, make sure that you have everything before you start cooking. And so this is a good way of doing that. They become the ones to make sure and check that we have everything that we need. Um, so I'm also going to put in one cup of this milk and I'm wearing my headset today, hoping that um, most of the sound ends up um, going through to the video. We have a lot going on all over the house and so I'm just not trying to interrupt anybody. Okay, here goes my measuring cup of flax milk. Okay, now that's in there. And a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And I, you know what I should do? I should do this over the lessons in cooking. I'm doing this over the prep bowl and then I'll pour it in because I don't want to pour too much and end up having that get into the recipe and ruin our concoction. Okay, teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You might hear that beeping. That is the timer. Um, will one of you please ask Jonathan to come in? Okay, there's that. I am going to turn off that timer and put on my, is that it? That's it. Oh my gosh. All right, so I need to put this into an oiled pan. So this needs to be oiled and I want to show you the difference. So I'm going to oil both pans. I'm going to put one in the oven and put one in the microwave. That way you guys can see. I will put the picture of the microwave ones on um, later. Where did the um, paper towels go, sweetie? Paper towels. Okay, so I actually have, I went to get the basting brush and it was sold out. And now it's on my shopping list, I'm ordering it today. For those of you who have growing list, today is 2020, it is July 15th, I am doing a special, if you give me a call, message me um, what you want, any orders over 50, I will throw in a free dip mix. So if you got this whole set, I would throw in the chocolate truffle and that would be, is that the green? Um, all right. these do a little better by hand. So I'm going to do that. You want to come over here and say hello to the people? Sure, let me just... Oh, come on. So that timer that we is actually for the milk that or the cheese that he's making for the lasagna that we're having tonight so that he can actually have dairy-free lasagna for the first time in how long has it been since you had lasagna? Uh, Probably five years. Maybe six. Oh, no. since, since middle school. That's a long time. Okay, so I am now just going to fill these. It says to put it two-thirds of the way full. So I'm going to whoop, those in there. This is like a really fun activity for kids on a rainy day. Something that you can make with them and then they can prove that they can make the recipe. And then you know that um, they can do it safely. They can make it after school. It's easy peasy. All right, so we are going to put this in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. Then we're gonna let it rest in the pan for five minutes. Then I'm gonna put it on the roll up rack um, and I'll show you a little more of that roll-up rack. 
This is the roll up rack and it literally rolls up. And I can put it across my sink, I can rinse veggies, but I can also use it as a cooling rack. It's um, coated with the silicone so I can set things on here and it's not taking up tons of space. Okay, so I will let you see the finished product when it's cooled and we'll have Dairy Free Guy taste testing. Cool? Cool. That one. All right. Thanks. See you soon.